everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, my name is Julie. I do handbag reviews. And if you're not new, welcome back guys. It's so good to see you. This is a very, very impromptu video. I will tell you, my kids have two friends over and it's Sunday. And I normally don't film whenever I have my sons, but you may hear some kids in the background. <laughs> I wanted to do this quick first impression video um, of this beautiful Dooney and Burke Florentine Hobo. And I haven't used it enough really to fully review it, but I just wanted to give kind of my first impressions of it and just kind of show it to you. I figured I would go ahead and just be on the ground um, here, kind of giving you some nice close-up shots of it. It is so stunning. It's in the color natural. I got it a couple weeks ago and I ordered it off of, um, I ordered it off I Love Dooney. It was on a super deep sale. I think I paid 170 bucks for it. Um, I couldn't resist it because I saw it um, and then it sold out and then it popped up again on the website and then just grabbed it. So um, yeah, I absolutely think that this bag is made of the finest materials, just like a lot of Dooney and Burke bags are. Um, it's just they're all just amazing, exquisite materials. Um, my first impressions of it are, I knew that the size of the bag would be very much like this. I don't have exact dimensions. They can be found on the website. I'll put them in the description box for you guys, but this, the leather is smooth. So I did get a smooth Florentine bag here, um, as opposed to my, uh, navy satchel. My navy satchel has pebbled quarantine and then the sides are smooth. The back is like a mix between the two. So it's kind of like a mixed bag, which honestly doesn't bother me at all. I freaking love, I love the satchel. I want another one. Um, so what made me choose the, the natural colorway is because over time this color is going to darken. It's going to get gorgeous. My 10 year old natural Florentine wallet, I used and used and used this back way before I was doing YouTube. I've had this wallet forever and it's, I'll still use it, but the darkening will do this like eventually. It's so pretty. Um, so this bag is pretty similar actually to a Florentine satchel in my opinion. It's just a hobo version of it. So you don't have the, the, you know, short top handles to grab. You definitely just grab it from this beautiful whip stitched, um, shoulder strap. The shoulder strap is adjustable from what I found. And I did, whenever I first got it, I moved it up to the, um, loosest setting. So it's on the total loosest setting. There's only two settings, but I wanted to have enough, um, clearance for my, um, you know, between my armpit and the bag itself, my underarm. So I'll just kind of show you, you do have to somewhat push this down a little bit to have that clearance. The way this bag feels on your body is incredible like absolutely amazing i have never felt something so comfortable against my body it's beautiful it does kind of have this triangular shape on the side there is some like pleating down here they kind of tucked it there so it kind of creates this beautiful pleat way which is so like gorgeous and it's on front and the back. Um, sorry, the key keeper was dangling out there. I didn't realize that. Um, the inside has that absolutely gorgeous green collar of suede C and then it has the red interior lining. Um, I can take this out all the way. I keep a bag pillow in the bag just to kind of keep its shape. So on the inside, you have, I think it's just called the standard Dooney setup, the zip and a slip. And then on the other side, you have a slip pocket on the other side. So there's really nice organization that you have this, like, I don't use that at all, 
but it's in every single Dooney and Burke bag. But yeah, this bag just holds so much. I absolutely love it. It almost in a sense reminds me a little bit of a tote. Um, the bottom is, the bottom has feet and the bottom is structured. It has like reinforcement a little bit in the bottom. But yeah, I don't know. I just am so, so taken aback by this bag. It's so beautiful. Just these tassels, of course. I like tassels quite a bit. And then you do have this adjustment here on the side, which I haven't messed with at all. Um, looks like this side, I should tuck it in underneath this tassel thing there. So yeah, I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. I'll show you right next to my Florentine satchel. So that kind of gives you a good idea. So this is just the regular Florentine satchel. I have the mini also right behind me, but this is the size up from the mini. And then here's the Florentine hobo. Um, it's just, mm, it's exquisite. I really, really love it. I like this front, um, the all leather Dooney and Burke plaque there. That's absolutely beautiful. I don't know. This is just kind of a quick rundown. I haven't used it enough really to just say, you know, so much about it right now, but I just wanted to get on here and show you the bag. Um, Tiffany wanted to have me kind of show it so she can take a look at it. Hi Tiff. So check out her channel, Ellie Coffee Lover. Um, here you go, guys. Here's the front. Here's the side. Back, the other side, the front, and then the zip is very, very smooth with the braided zipper. Push it down. It will break in more, and it's starting to do that already for me. And that's what she looks like. She's amazing. I love it. And um, yeah, I like the natural color. It's that beautiful honey. Um, I'll show you the difference between, here's my chestnut, I'll show you the difference between the mini satchel and chestnut and the Florentine hobo. So chestnut to natural. And then also a size comparison. So, you know, the mini size is such a good everyday size in the satchels. I love them love these so much so you know and chestnut can actually look a little bit like um, Bordeaux in a way it's kind of got some of the Bordeaux in it love it it's just I definitely want a Bordeaux Florentine bag next to have a true Bordeaux one here we are guys so let me know if there's anything that you have questions about on this bag and last time I checked, they are on I Love Dooney and their website. Um, I do know because I did get a couple spots on the back, you know, it's just like natural vaquetta. So, but I mean, I just can't wait for this bag to get even softer and more broken in and, and everything like that through time. So anyways, that's it. Thanks guys. Take care. Bye.